Now, we know from all your emails and letters that one of your biggest bugbears is phone numbers that cost more than normal to call. We've come to accept it with businesses that are simply out to make money, but when you have no choice but to phone a pricier number for an essential service, that really seems to stick in your throat. Even the people at the top say it shouldn't be happening. In fact, they've already given a deadline for it to stop. So why are so many people still having to pay a higher price for the call when they ring their doctor? There are three numbers that many people trying to keep their phone bills down have come to dread, 084. And depending what tariff you're on, those three pesky little digits can mean just one thing, more expensive calls. It is a rip-off. It is. They don't make their charges clear. I don't use my landline now, I just use my mobile. And it just, you just can't use your mobile with those numbers because it just ups the bill, doesn't it? Bit of a rip-off and scam, really. Um, had a couple of bad experiences with my phone company, using them and again, getting big sources of phone bills. When they were first introduced, numbers beginning with 084 were supposed to be a low-cost way for us to call a company's customer service line for the same flat charge, regardless of how far away we lived from the call centre. You can understand why some companies might want to use them, but what about other services? What about your GP practice, for instance? It was about 10 years ago that doctor's surgeries started using 084 numbers rather than a regular local one but that didn't go down well with patients. And after years of complaints that the cost of calling the doctor was more expensive than it should be, the NHS in England told surgeries they should stop using them. But four years later, not all of them have. David Hickson is one of the most vocal campaigners against 084 numbers. I thought GPs were meant to have stopped using this system. Rules were introduced in 2010 which said no longer could they use expensive numbers and if they had them already they had 12 months in which to not necessarily get rid of the system they were using but simply change their number. That ran out 1st of April 2011. Even this long gone there are still several hundred GPs who are still hanging on to these numbers and they haven't been stopped. David gave us a record of all the surgeries that, according to the NHS Choices Directory, were listed as using the 084 numbers, around 330 of them in England alone. When we called round to see if they were still using the numbers, we discovered that while 20% of those had now changed their number, the rest we called, some 268 practices, were still using the 084 service more than three years after the government deadline to ditch it. When you use these expensive numbers, they won't be included in your call plan on the landline, which means you'll pay a call setup charge, which is probably about 15 pence a minute. On top of that, you'll pay a rate, which on some mobiles is as much as 45 pence a minute. And every minute they keep you hanging on, uh, they're making more money out of you. At exactly the same rate, unfortunately so, yes. My GP surgery doesn't have a premium rate number, but I thought we'd see what it was like trying to book an appointment with a few we picked at random. Straight away, I'm plunged into a world of recorded messages and menu options. Please wait whilst we connect you to the surgery. That's supposedly designed to get you through to the right person, but it can all just add to the frustration. What was interesting to me about that was that I reckon there was at least 10 seconds of waffle at the beginning, which uh, would be costing me money, wouldn't it? Absolutely right. When calling from most mobile phones, even if you listen to the first few seconds of the recorded message, you'd probably still be charged for the full minute. Whereas if I was calling using a landline on a regular local number, I'd be paying significantly less or indeed nothing. So what do people think about how much calling their local surgery might cost them? Many of those we met hadn't even realised they could be charged more. I think it's terrible, really terrible. Again, you might put off that important phone call to the doctor and you really could do with speaking to them. I'm old now, but I remember the time when you rang a number if they were busy, you got the engaged term, so you weren't charged. Essential services should be minimum cost. And if they're a company or an institution making money out of it, well, they, it's wrong. When we spoke to NHS England about the number of GP surgeries still using 084 numbers so long after being advised not to, 
It told us that those surgeries need to stop, and it's reminded GPs that they could be in breach of contract if they do not take all reasonable steps to stop their patients being asked to use them. But within the ranks of GPs themselves, there are those who staunchly defend surgery's right to use 084 numbers and don't see why that should change. Dr. Richard Vautry is a GP in Leeds and sits on the GP's commission of the British Medical Association. A number of years ago, the government were particularly focusing on uh, patients' concerns that they couldn't get through to their GP, that they were constantly getting an engaged tone. And so they, along with the then primary care trusts, promoted uh, the 0844 solutions so that when patients did ring through, uh, they got a number of options um, as we're now all too familiar with. Uh, and actually, patient satisfaction improved at the time when those surgeries took those services um, and used them. What about the suggestion that actually one of the attractions is that the GPs themselves make a bit of money out of these services? That's not true. Uh, the reality is for the, the vast majority it was more expensive to use these systems for the practice uh, than their old systems that they replaced. The people who make the money, the companies who make the money, are the phone companies. Practices are stuck with long contracts and they can't move away from those contracts until uh, the end of the contract or, or very near the end of the contract. When they do reach the end of their contract, very many practices are choosing to revert back to a local number. So if it is the case that most practices still using these numbers only do so because they're locked into a contract, would the companies they're using be willing to release them? Well, when we put that to the one reckoned to supply most GPs with the service, it said yes, telling us that surgeries can request a switch free of charge to alternative numbers or add an additional phone line without an 084 number. And they stressed that customers have been informed about these alternatives, along with support in migrating away from 084. It's clear the tide is turning. But with hundreds of GP surgeries still using 084 numbers, things aren't changing as quickly as many, including NHS England, would like. There are, of course, hundreds or even thousands of other 084 numbers for everything from calling your local council to voting in TV talent shows. Thanks to new rules that come into effect in summer 2015, the charges for calling all these numbers will be made a lot clearer. But while all that's good news, David's adamant that no GP surgery should still be using numbers that cost more to call than a local landline. As far as we're concerned, these people are breaking the rules, they're breaching the principles of the National Health Service, they must stop.